okay look like this look when you you put it like that okay you just <laughs> 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 Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex. So, uh, different location today, different project. I'm in London, in the UK, for something that really matters to me. You see, there are many different cuisines, many different cultures, and each one is unique in its own way. I've always seen differences as values, not problems or even worse, disabilities. Okay, right. There is someone we need to meet. Yo! <laughs> Elizabeth! Yeah. Nice to meet you! Nice to meet you! How, How are, are you? you? How are you? Good to see you! Good to see you! I can't wait to cook with you! My name is Elizabeth Yon. I'm from South Sudan. I'm a mother of four children. I came in to London as a refugee in the, uh, what they call in 1989 because of the war in my country. So I have to flee my country to be safe. And this is why I'm here in, in, in London. So yes, Elizabeth is a refugee, but she's also She's a chef. You're, you're gonna be my teacher today. No problem. No problem? Yeah, I'm a good teacher. I'm a very well. messy student. No. I think it's this way. We are now heading to uh, a supermarket. I hope we can find all the ingredients we need. So the recipes we are making, first one is Acida. Okay. And the second one is... Uh, is a Molokia? Molokia. So it's a bit misleading because Molokia is the name of the stew, but it's in the first place the name of the green leaves used as a vegetables to make that same dish. You get it? It's quite common in North Africa where it can be found fresh, but otherwise you can find it dried or frozen. Frozen Molokia. Yeah, we will call Pabir. We are going Pabir. to Pabir. T A. T H. A. A. B. B. I. I. E. E. H. H. Yeah. Tabir. Tabir. If we don't get Molokia, okay. we use a spinach. All right. Yeah, so it can, it can work with spinach it too. It can work with spinach, yeah. If you want it to be slimy, you nice. just put a bit of, uh, okay. of okra. Is Molokia supposed to be slimy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Onions? Onions, yeah. Beef? You have a kilo. Cinnamon yeah. stick? Uh-huh. Cumin. Yeah. Canned tomatoes? Yeah. Tomato? Puree. Cool. Yeah. We we'll have the everything for Molokia. Now Asida. Ah, uh, the Asida. In South Sudan, we make Asida with sorghum. Sorghum is going to be hard to find. Or rice, you know, mm -hmm. millet. Oh, the millet. Millet. And then we make with the maize. Semolina, it works? It works perfect. Perfect? Oh, yeah, way, perfect, yes. Yeah. No way. No way. Sorry, no, I watch no, your No problem. <laughs> I watch... What's up? What? This is weird. I watch your YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. No way! <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. We have everything? We have everything. You're sure? Positive. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the kitchen then. Okay. To find the ingredients you need to cook on a daily basis, do you go to British supermarket or, or do you go to ethnic supermarket? No, I go both. Is, is there a neighborhood in London for South Sudan or for Sudan? Yeah, for Sudan is yes, like it's um, it were road, you know? It, it, it were road. Yeah. And you know the good thing about uh, London, Yes. London is a multi-culture. Wherever you go, any corner, you find yourself. This way. Come on. What do you think about the kitchen? Is it up to your standards? <laughs> so, sorry guys, I did not have lunch yet, so I'm just okay. gonna eat a bit. But today you are, you are the chef. Okay, in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm following your lead. So, mm -hmm. what is the first recipe we start with? Now, we are going now to cook uh, molokia. Okay. These are cardo onions. Mm -hmm. This skill I got it from Mazamas. It's a social enterprise which trained women from a refugee background to cook their own food, their own culture. They trained them to be a chef. Mm -hmm. With the cinnamon stick inside and the, the, the thumb of ginger, the whole kitchen is smelling like heaven. As soon as you start to get oh, some color on the onions, you want to add the beef in like manageable pieces. It's like, I don't know, that's like this big. And then drop a can of tomato and lower the heat to medium, medium low. Massage. Massage. I don't want this type of massage. <laughs> No thanks. <laughs> and let it simmer. 
So this is the second recipe, right? Yes, acida. To make acida, you start with water. You start with water. Okay. Add a bit of oil, a touch of salt, and then drop a good amount of a fermenting agent. Elizabeth made one with equal parts sorghum flour and water, then left at room temperature until bubbly and sour. Don't have it, no problem. Just use one yogurt and a squeeze of lemon instead. Okay, and then you drop in yeah. the semolina. Yeah. So it's done. We're done. Yes. So being a refugee mm. sometimes is nothing. Refugees also can give. That's the mm. best part. You gave me something today. Yeah, thank you. You, you taught me how to do yeah. uh, acida and to mm. do molokia. Yeah. Merci. Super thank gentil. you. I think the experience wouldn't be complete without sharing the food with others, of course, and also without trying first to eat with my hands. Okay. I don't want to learn. I but want to did, master it. You, did, uh, you, in, uh, you make a spoon. <laughs> right. do, do I need to use this one? <laughs> Touch your lips with the, the fingers or not too much? <laughs> mm -hmm. Not as elegant. <laughs> not as elegant, definitely not. See? Oh, yeah. that's the trick. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. use the thumb as a shovel. Yeah, mm look. -hmm. Oh, clean, super clean. Yeah, you see, you did it. <laughs> When I taste your food and it tastes good, mm -hmm. it creates a bound between us. Then I want to ask you, where does, it, where does it come from? Where do you come from? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's good or it's bad? Excellent. We never met before. Without food, how would I know you? You know? It we wouldn't. We wouldn't. It that would be a shame. It wouldn't be the chain. Peace. Thank you okay. so much, okay? So I must say, meeting Elizabeth was... Such a pleasure. Of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, and share that all over social media using the hashtag spread it like butter. Really important to spread the love this time. Last people click subscribe because I make new videos every week. You know, it's always about food. You know this. But it's also about discovering new cuisine, new culture, new people. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Salut.